guys, how's it going? I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero in a day in Anime Reaction Watch episode 10 of the Tales of Zysteria. The X! If you want to check out our reaction to the 10th episode of Tales of Zysteria, the X, hit that link in the description below. And be sure to give us feedback in the comment section because we love hearing from you, even your uh, disagreements with us. <laughs> <laughs> As always, if you like what you see, subscribe to Otaku Saga and don't forget to like and share our videos. And, and thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. So on this episode of Tales of Zysteria, we have some mop up from in that town that they were in. Yep. Yeah. But uh, technically it's a city, I guess. It's the second largest city in the country after Lady Lake. But it yeah. It also showed that the uh, the dragon that just disappeared in the last episode uh, was actually shown to be actually purified and not completely destroyed. Indeed. Look I'm on. not sure how he survived the fall. But somehow <laughs> Rohan was saved. <laughs> yeah. I liked your I liked your Lord of the Rings joke. <laughs> We were worried when you lit the signal fires, <laughs> but um, but yeah. So it shows Sori purifying the water in the town so that people stop getting sick, basically. But according to Lila, it would take about a year for it to like fully purify. For, yeah, for it to fully purify. I think that's more through the natural means. Well, I think uh, Sori was there to kind of kickstart the process. Yeah. So now it's just nature has to take its course and heal itself. Well, but it's a lot better. Uh, yeah, I think basically he got it up to the point where humans can live there. Yeah. Without without dying, basically. Uh, that but, was nice. Yeah, but it needs time in order for you know the 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 water cycle to work really. Yeah. You know, go rain to go through the soil and get filtered. That's understandable though. It takes time for natural things. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense actually. Mm. More um, sense than just done. Yeah, more yeah. sense than yeah, everything's good again. That's actually uh, something I do kind of like. Um, the magic seems to take a sort of a more uh, holistic, natural, I'll even say like a druidic approach. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Uh, kind of like uh, we saw in Flying Witch to an extent. Yeah, except a little more razzle dazzle because RPG. And th this one in specific, like the uh, the the. Uh, male malevolence mm -hmm. probably um, you know, took thousands of years. Th that that thousand years from this area to this area. Mm. Of course, I'm only doing this speculatory mumbo jumbo, but it probably took that long for it to get that bad. Yeah. Well, it is called the Age of Calamity, right? Yeah. So it's been going on for an age. Yeah. So yeah, about a thousand years. So stands to reason. Yeah. Um. We also see that uh, Lord Bastard is scheming and trying to start a war with the next country over so that they can uh, plunder for supplies. Because douchebag. Really, bro? Really? Uh, Alicia leaves town for what? A week? Honestly, who didn't see that coming? Yeah. She's out of the picture. It's probably what, you know, yeah. It's, well, it's she's out of the picture. He's basically in control at the moment. Exactly. Yeah. So Alicia readies her troops to go to the battlefield. And, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see what's going on with that. Because Alicia has a very, very strong non-aggression stance. So... But she gets put to the test uh, with these, uh, with the, what do they call the scattered bones? Yeah, scattered bones. Um, well, I'm kind of wondering how, how this is all going to work out, because if she's leading her troops there, there might be a battle, and that would kind of go against her non-aggression stance. Mm -hmm. But I suppose it, in the, it would, it would make for less of a battle in the long run because then they wouldn't have a fight with their neighboring country. I mean, if she's putting a large force on a battlefield, she might be trying to maybe divert the two opposing forces from uh, confronting each other. Yeah, Perhaps. we'll just have to see how it plays out. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, we saw Rose again in this episode, obviously, because we saw the scattered bones in this episode. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually revealed that Rose is the assassin from the Scattered Bones. Uh, Maya, what a well-kept secret. Yeah, what a well-kept secret. 
Also, I, I thought it was interesting that Alicia like knew the entire time. Because you know, uh, I assume ass. that she like recognized her voice or something, but uh, that it was just kind of kind of showing how Alicia is not like um, what's the what's the term? You know, one of those useless monarchs. Mm-hmm. You know, she uh, she's actually perceptive. But basically, they they try. They didn't really try for her life, but like in this one. Like just being honest. Well, I think they actually... they, they sent the one dude at her. They had her surrounded. Sent the one dude at her, and she dispatched him really easily. And then kind of had a little bit of a tussle with Rose. But yeah, well, after she after Alicia showed how hard and badass she was, yeah, Rose backed off. Yeah, uh, I I just to me it didn't really seem like the scattered bones were actually after her life this time. Hmm. Or, or maybe they they kind of went into it uh, willing to talk, I guess. Yeah. Which is uh, far away from what they had previously, which was just... They were ordered to kill her at done. first. And well, maybe like, this is probably under those same orders. Yeah, but Rose had a change of heart about Alicia. That's probably why they didn't go in, like, you know, full bore. I, I, I could agree with Rose, but the rest of them are still under orders. Yeah. Yeah, but the, I believe they do take their orders from Rose. Or I'm sure she has some sort of pool in the organization. Maybe? I don't know. It's, it's probably the last one. Yeah, I'm just, there's so many things I'm not sure about in this series just because uh, we haven't, like, we, we haven't played the game, so. Yeah. It's kind of a thing about adaptations in general. Usually, what it's being adapted from has a much better chance or much much better option to explain things than than an animation does. Right. Yeah. the uh, The only exception there is usually manga, uh, just because manga is so close to anime in terms of how it tells its story. But when you get anime that are based off of novels or light novels or video games. I mean, you know, think the the video game probably has what 30, 30 game hours to do a story at least, where whereas the anime has, um, let's see, if you put it together, about twenty minutes an episode, even even for you know twenty six episodes, it's still only what. Uh, you got four hours a yeah, core, four, four hours, hours a core, core, so that'd be about eight hours to to tell the story. And yeah. It just doesn't work out quite as well. Um, that's why that's why movies based off books generally aren't as good as the as the books. Really, you got you got to mm-hmm. condense that stuff. Uh, that so stuff entirely. Recently, I mean, we we put up we put up both tales eight and nine within a very short amount of time, and within a very short amount of time watching this, and we've been reading your comments. Yes. Hmm. Um, apparently, a lot of you disagreed with our assessment of. Episode eight, eight. eight, yeah. In specific, we didn't like the episode. Well, when we first watched it, I think that we kind of enjoyed it. But like when, when we're going back before we do the discussion, and we're kind of kind of discussing among, amongst ourselves what was going on in the episode, it was kind of a you know. Now that you think about it, yeah, <laughs> it's One like. Of those moments. It just, uh, as a whole, compared to the rest of what's going on, it just wasn't that good. Like, like they condensed too much mm. in that in that one episode. Uh, but since then, they they've really bounced back. Let's see. Y two N six ten said it really good. Not knowing anything about the games makes it hard to follow this series. That's true. Still looks amazing art wise. Oh, I mean. Then that that's exactly it. We love we love what we're seeing. It's a spectacle and it, weekend. It, honestly, out. it makes me want to play the game. Yeah, very much. Like so. straight up. But they, I mean, there was there was another commenter who was like, "This this uh, this is more for the video game people, the fans of the game. Yeah, the fans the of the game. And I understand that, but as a you know, coming from you know, just anime. You also want to cater to those people. Obviously, the art is good, but things like this, you know, things like episode eight, need to be more well-rounded. 
Yeah. You know. I, I think I just would have preferred it overall if they'd have skipped the whole uh, Berseria part. Because mm. that was just straight an ab- advertisement for Berseria because it was coming out. Yeah. But I, I would have I would have liked it a little better overall if they skipped that and had a little bit more rounded story for, for this. Either if they skipped this area or found a way to kind of segue back into this area. Or well, I, I'm just thinking about freeing up freeing up at least an episode. All right. If they maybe condensed what was going on in Basaria to one episode, that would really condense it. That's true. They but again, it, it was pretty much just an advertisement for for the game. Yeah. So if they could have found a way to more condense that to have what the events of episode eight be a little bit more spread out, more spread out. In detail. And more explained. I think I think that would have worked a little better. Mm-hmm. And there was there was one who actually was like thumbs down for the worst re- worst review. Other other reactions say that they like it. Well, we have our own opinions. I'm sorry, it doesn't it doesn't <laughs> coincide with yours? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, that that's really it. And o- often we have differing opinions too. <laughs> yeah, between so. the three, among of, three us. of us, actually, yeah. <laughs> So a, a lot of times, like like there'll be a there'll be an episode where where it's like, oh, you know, I really enjoyed that. And, and then, then one of us and is and like, then really? Zero will be like, that was awful. <laughs> or, or like, um, oh, what was it? The the first episode of the the Berserk series that's coming out. Oh yeah, the, I the, hated that episode. And you two had a pretty I, uh, heated debate about. I the art really style. hated that episode. He really liked that episode. I hate the art style. He likes the art style. Same thing with the you know the very first episode of Tales. Mm. Yeah, I love the I love the way that they use 3D. And it uh, gave me a <laughs> He doesn't. So um, that's, a, that's actually what I really like about our channel is that since we have multiple personalities on here, uh, we can you know we can have differing opinions and and. Uh, you know, have have good discussions. I hope, anyway. Yeah. At least, at least it's better than, well. Which, oh yeah, it's, 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 it's it makes different. them it makes them interesting. Yeah. Oh, we hope. We hope. The top gear of anime. Yes. That's the goal. That's the goal. Been over there. But yeah, I mean, uh, we do we do we finish the. The recap? recap? No. no, no, we went off. I, I, I apologize for interrupting, but it was actually bugging me. I'm sitting here going through your comments. I mean, there, I always attempt to find comments that coincide with what's going on. But yeah, we ended up getting more um, annoyed comments from the last couple episodes. Mm. Yeah. Um, anyway, so the the other bits that happened during this episode was that uh, Sori got a little bit better of a handle on on his responsibilities and his powers as a, as a shepherd. Well, he has to go uh, purify Hel- uh, Hellion that was a man. Yeah, and, and apparently he gets flashes ooh. of the what happened to turn that man into a Hellion. And probably what's happened since that guy's been a Hellion. And since he, uh, he learns that he has to take on the malevolence himself when the Hellion is a man. Yeah. So, heavy, considering that there's a war on. Yeah. And uh, even and driven home further. To, yeah, he's going to the battlefield himself, so he's probably going to run into a lot. Yeah, but that point is driven home uh, rather emphatically when uh, Sori and the Seraph go to a graveyard that is absolutely massive. I mean, it's literally as far as the eye can see. I do wonder, like, uh, I know that there was a, a, a veteran graveyard, and I think it was D.C.? Arlington? Arlington? Arlington, Arlington National Cemetery? Yeah. yeah just it, Arlington like, National Cemetery is huge. Absolutely like, massive. It, it, yeah, it's massive. Um, I, I do... I've never actually been there, so I don't know the comparison, but I actually want to... It is huge. Like, you see the big rolling hills of nothing but, nothing but uh, graves. But, yeah. Like massive. I uh, think probably if you went to Europe, you might find some larger ones, like the World uh, War One. Yeah, World War One and World War Two sites. Mm. Um, 
However, a lot of a lot of that's kind of more like unmarked graves, or you get like one one memorial for for a battlefield or something. Just like, like mass that. graves or something. Yeah. So. Mm. Yeah, but, but still, probably, probably the probably the best comparison that I can think of is Arlington National Cemetery, mm. uh, just because I like I've never been there either, but I've seen enough enough videos and pictures from from the place to know that it's just like massive grounds. Mm. This is bigger. <laughs> this is, this yeah, is way bigger. bigger. So, uh, yeah. But Sori, in the end, decides that, you know, he accepts the responsibility that he's going to have to take when he sees these men that are Hellions. And he decides that he is going to the battlefield with Alicia. Oh, yeah. And the, um, <laughs> the, 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 the scattered bones are also going to be there yeah. to keep an eye on Alicia to make sure that she keeps her promise. And Alicia, yeah, just totally Alicia badass. Alicia was in badass that. in this episode. Yeah, just straight up bamf in this, uh, in that encounter. Those eyes. <laughs> you think I'm playing? Uh-uh. You think this is a motherfucking game? Well, yeah, it is, but... Well, <laughs> <laughs> also, that, uh, that end credit scene. <laughs> Uh, Again, I Rose, mean, those... the snake oil salesman. <laughs> the, yeah, At least she starts checks. feeling bad about it. Right. <laughs> it's like, you are way, way, way too gullible. But then she gets, yeah, and then Alicia gets the stuff for free as a gift. You know, you're actually calculating. <laughs> but that face Rose makes when she's like... <laughs> uh... Are you kidding? I like the face that Alicia makes at the end of that. It's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, let us know what you thought of the anime and what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. But we, we understand if you, uh, if you disagree with us. If you have opinion, we have opinions. If we like happens. hearing about your opinions too. Yeah. But anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.